I'm Jack Hardiker. I'm a tutor researcher on the Digital Direction Programme at the Royal College of Art. I also lead the Collaborative Practice Office of Everyone. This year in the School of Communication, we hosted the second iteration of our collaboration with SNAP. Um, again, really exploring the future of augmented reality, but this time, rather than just focusing on working with their kind of experimental wearable technology, the spectacles, we actually looked at working with um, a range of their technologies. So some students focused on creating web-based experiences, um, some focused on creating app-based experiences, some created work for the spectacles, and some created more traditional lens all the reality we sense is just an electronic signal processed by our brain. So what is reality and what is augmented reality? We used SNAP's machine learning and computer vision technology and then integrated them to our project with Lens Studio. We were able to track our hand posture, position, to let it interact with a real world and a digital world. We think that augmented reality is at its best when the digital information has a relationship with the real world. So this could be the buildings around us, it could be our bodies, it could be physical tangible materials. And we wanted to see the way that AR could make these experiences even more engaging. The project was created in Lens Studio, therefore users can download Snapchat app to scan our special design map and to unlock their unique augmented reality experience. The programme ran for three terms and throughout the programme we were able to bring in a bunch of really exciting guests to work with our students. The themes explored with the guests included um, equity, accessibility, performance, uh, materiality, ecology um, and with this kind of learning the students were able to develop projects um, that really kind of push at the boundaries of what's possible with augmented reality and what's possible um, with kind of storytelling through augmented reality. I have covered different, a range of projects, like a portfolio of projects, and showing a bit of the backstage, how through time I have approached uh, challenges related to how do you make people experience feeling of materials through the digital, or like I said about sustainability, how do you make people understand or value or create meaning around uh, certain features of materials that are important for sustainability. And in the session we used pure soot um, and, and students ground that down and turned that into ink. And what we were doing really is talking about knowledge systems but also talking about energy consumption. Carbon is obviously the thing that fuels our computational systems. In effect it fuels augmented reality. And so in talking, uh, in making the ink we were also talking about quite complex theoretical issues. And what's nice about those types of workshops is that they are types of co-doing. So everyone was sitting and making an ink of their own to take notes about the session. Um, and so though it was a very material-based session, it was talking about the materials that support digital computation. Yeah, the workshop was around a brain, like giving different tasks to students of uh, like choosing a place, choosing a topic, choosing the aesthetic of the of the layer that they will create, and they created this like a situation in the workshop. They created a layer for a certain situation for a certain problem in a space, and it was for helping them to develop their own ideas basically, but like thinking of different perspective of how to bring them in to think what is what is the role of augmented reality or how can it actually uh, tell a story. I think this kind of research um, is really important in the context of an art college. I think having a partner like SNAP um, really bringing their kind of technical expertise and being able to work closely with the students to push at the boundaries of what's possible with this technology is kind of really exciting for both the Royal College of Art but also for SNAP and the kind of future development of this kind of technology. Rather than aiming to detach ourselves from reality, how can AR be used to help us rediscover a sense of awe and curiosity in the current world around us? And how can we integrate technology into our lives in a way that allows it to exist more quietly and ambiently, rather than dominating the forefront? We envisioned our project as a learning tool. In order to find the right topic, we studied UK's primary school curriculum to find a topic which could be more engaging via AR. 
to build our prototype, we took advantage of the snap sessions and additionally went through a number of tutorials for Lens Studio to create the marker-based interactions. Working with Lens Studio was a great experience for us. The software and the documentation meant that we were able to get up and running with our ideas really quickly. And we've been really excited to be a part of the Snap community and to see how they're pushing the future of what augmented reality can be. Yeah, it brings a lot of uh, energy to, to the research because research a lot of times can be a slow burn. And I think with the students, it creates a much more vibrant um, environment for, yeah, to progress the ideas. What we really hope can come from this programme is that we can send Royal College of Arts students out into the world to really be future leaders in this kind of technology and to really help direct the conversation towards more equitable futures for the arts and for technology.